So Liverpool made hard work of it for themselves towards the end of the match, but they eventually came out of it 2 0 winners against Burnley. Liverpool started the match well. They were fast, they swarmed all over Burnley, they got that early goal through Nunes within the first few minutes, and they created a lot of chances. And it seemed like they were dominating in all aspects of the match. But there was also a lot of wastefulness in a lot of good situations where it seemed like they just had to take that shot of somehow delaying it for that split second and it allowed defenders to clear the ball or sometimes playing the pass when they should have shot just a moment of hesitancy in playing the final pass and at half time with the match being what it was at that time it seemed as if Liverpool could see through this whole match quite comfortably all they needed was that second or third goal and of course you know, based on how it was during the first half it seemed like it would happen sooner rather than later but then somehow in the second half Liverpool seemed to, to tail off and Burnley grew into the game Burnley grew more confident they started pressing more aggressively effectively and then the tide seemed to turn and it looked like Burnley might get an equaliser but of course if there's more layers to it than that but there's also the fact of the two disallowed goals one in the first half one in the second half on the one in that in the second half the the Salah offside which caused Ellis goal to be disallowed going by the letter of the law of the game these days I guess Salah was offside you know, no matter how much I hope he wouldn't be he was in the line of the goalkeeper so the goal was disallowed but the one that was disallowed in the first half that felt a lot more contentious it seemed as if the Burnley player just fell over himself lost balance whatever it didn't look like a foul to me but the referee gave the foul, the foul and VAR confirmed his decision and so the goal was disallowed very annoyingly from a Liverpool perspective so these two situations aside Liverpool's wastefulness in a lot of good situations in that first half seemed as if it might come back to bite them with the way Burnley were playing and putting a lot of pressure and being aggressive for the final 30 minutes Burnley had a number of chances and they had that very good chance when Odo Bear skipped past two Liverpool players he played that crossing from the left wing and that free headed a far post that went over the bar that one was a very big chance most top strikers they score the header and it becomes a 1-1 and if that were to happen Liverpool would be kicking themselves for being as wasteful as they were the disallowed goals notwithstanding as it were though it remained 1-0 until the final minutes 
and Jota, who just came back from injury, came on as a sub. <clears throat> he scored in the 90th minute. 2 0, much more secure, and Liverpool were able to see out in the final few minutes of the match for the win. It was very nice to see Nunes and Jota both scoring for different reasons. Nunes being that he had gone something like 12 or 13 games without a goal. And he's had a lot of those meme-worthy moments you know, of, you know, of the way he missed so many good chances. The way he seemed to be more, more and more comically wasteful, you know, match after match. I've said it before, Nunes has a lot of the tools to be a top striker, but sometimes it seemed as if <clears throat> he lacked he lacked composure. He lacked you know, a little bit of uh, calmness and. Nunes, ice cold, you know, in his veins. When you see the way he plays, you can see a lot of passion. He seems to be like someone who wears his heart on his sleeve. And he just keeps going, he keeps trying. He has that single-mindedness in trying to put the ball into the net. No matter where he is, no matter what the situation. And sometimes that works against him because he could be trying to force something impossible when other better options are available. And it has been such a barren run, you know, again, more than 10 games without a goal. So for him to get this goal today, it's a great moral booster for him. It's a great confidence booster. Just the feeling of finally got one. Got something right. And as for Jota, he'd been out with injury for the past couple of weeks. And Liverpool missed his goals. It's kind of it's almost like a classic fox in a box type of striker. There's sort of subtle movements just to find the right space, the right half space, to be in position to take a shot, to take a chance. None of the other forwards that Liverpool have have Jota's kind of skill set. And him being missing for the past few weeks, it really showed. So for him to come back from injury, to get this goal, it's great for him. It's, you know, it's like hitting the ground running. Back from injury, hit the ground running, back with the goal, back with the bang. You know, and... It's a good starting momentum for someone who's just coming back. Now, so this result it puts Liverpool top of the table for now. You know, still pending the results of you know, the other matches. But a win is a win. And Having those points bought on the board means that at least for this match, you've done your job, and now the onus shifts to other teams to do their jobs. They have to get wins to keep up. And although this match is almost performance wise, it was almost like a game of two halves type of thing. We are in the part of the season where it's you know, it 
it's very busy. There's matches every three days or so. The Premier League match after Premier League match, you've got a, then you've got the League Cup. You, know, you just had the quarterfinals, and then there's the semifinals in in January. There is the FA Cup coming soon. Even if the performance was not 100% perfect from start to finish, it's more about the result than the performance at times. You got the goals, you got the win, you got the points, and just move on. And that's all it needs to be. That's just how it is sometimes. So then, 2 0 win. It's a good boxing day. And move on to New Year's Day. <laughs>